going to do a fun little project and we're going to be using the Paper Studio Spare Parts Bottle Caps. And I have these in two colors. I have silver and I have this, this vintage color which is like a, I don't even know, antique copper maybe. And these cost about $2.99 a piece for a package and I think I got them 40% off during one of Hobby Lobby's sales. So I'm sure you can get them other places as well. I'm also going to be using a crocodile and I'm going to be using some ink and some stamps and a punch. Now if you have a one inch punch, since, since these are one inch, that would be perfect. I don't have a one inch circle punch and I could cut these out on my Cricut, but instead I have this other punch by EK Success and it actually punches a star, a circle, and a square with a little tiny tab, but I'm just gonna cut the tab off the circle and then it's perfect. So also, you can use, pick up some epoxy stickers from Spare Parts as well, and these were $2.99 as well, and it came with 24, so that's a lot. And I also got these 40% off. So these are just going to serve as something to put on top of our decoration. You could also use liquid glass or something like that if you're using stays on ink. Okay, to our project. I have, like I said, I have two different color bottle caps. And the first one we're going to do is the silver one. And I went ahead and I punched out an N for Nebraska. But I'm going to show you how I did that quick. I just used my little punch, and depending on what kind of punch you have, you can just kind of line it up through the back side and decide where you want to punch it. And I know that I'm going to punch that top part off. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to punch it think keeping that in mind okay so there's that and I'm just gonna grab my scissors and just trim that there we go and actually you know what I think I'm gonna make two of these since I have two cut out and we'll make some earrings all right so they fit perfectly right there in the middle but first, before I put those in there, I want to punch a hole in these two pieces. So I'm just going to use my crocodile, and I'm going to use the small punch side, which is over here. If you haven't seen my tutorial on how to use the crocodile, either the big bite or this one, check that out. It'll help you if you forget how to use it. I'll put a link to it underneath um, my post on pinkcricket.com. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this in here kind of line it up. I think I'm going to go from this direction. And I want it to be on the edge. So, but I can't have it too close to the edge because it will come off of the, the bottle cap. So, just beyond the lip, just like slightly past the lip of the bottle cap, I'm going to punch that hole. And there it is. Then I'm going to do the other one and I'm going to try to put it in exactly the same spot which if I follow that guideline where it's just past that lip of the bottle cap, then I should be good. Okay, so I have two holes. I did bend it just a tiny bit, but that can go right down and back in place. Put the crocodile aside. Love that thing because it can punch through anything, it seems. I'm gonna open up my epoxy stickers. And they just look like this. And I'm going to center it onto the end first. So that I know I have it on there nice and straight. Okay, then I can decide where I want it on here. And I think I do want to have it stuck up like that so instead of down into the, the bottle cap. So I'm going to use these little foam stickers that come with the spare parts bottle caps peel off the sides. I just ordered some red line pop dots that are black and I'm kind of excited to get those. Those are coming in handy right now. Then I'm just going to push that in. Just like that. So there's my end. Whoops. There's my end. And I'm going to quick do the other one so that I have a pair of matching earrings. I'm going to go ahead and put this down and I'm going to keep in mind where my punch is for the earring for later. And then I'm going to go ahead and take another epoxy sticker 
Then my letter N, center it on the back. Seems to be easier if I do it from the behind. Okay, and then center this onto the bottle cap. So there's that. Just like that. Cute, right? Okay, for another option, you could also make a pendant. You could also make something, a decoration for a scrapbook layout or a card or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you another quick way to do it that you can include stamps. And let me put these doing pieces all away. This one, I'm just gonna use a piece of regular craft cardstock and I'm going to take, I'm going to take a background stamp and some parchment ink. So it's it's tone on tone basically, just a slightly darker color than what I'm using. And I'm just gonna stamp this background on here. And this background is actually a new one that's coming out by Pink by Design in a week or so. So you see how easy that was to stamp. And then basically, we're just going to take a word. And I think I'm gonna use the word this um, stamp set that has all these fun little short words on it is actually a really good one to use in this because there's lots of words. So, um, let's see. I think I'm going to use the word friend. Make sure it's going to fit in there. It is. And then I'm going to use darker ink. And stamp right on top of that. Then I'm going to punch that out with my circle punch. See how cute that's going to be? Okay. I know I punched all those out. Maybe I could use those for something else. <laughs> okay. Three in one punch. Then trim that little top off. This is one of my favorite background stamps. It's one of my favorite designs to use on paper, and I'm so glad that we finally have a stamp that's just like it. So, there's that. Again, we'll use the little dot, the little pop dot that they give you. So let me get one of those out. And then my epoxy stickers. So, like I said, on the back, lining it up from the back is a little easier. And then we can peel this off. stick it in our little bottle cap. My desk is kind of getting messy. And then stick this part on top. And I think actually I want to make this a charm. So before I do that quick, I'm just going to punch my little hole right on right below that lip. Then I can add my piece right here so I know where that hole is going to be. And there we go. There's another little charm that you can add to a bracelet or whatever you need to do. Just add a little um, jump ring and there you go. You can make a keychain, anything. So there you go. There's some bottle, there's some bottle cap crafts for you. Have a great day, everyone.